Well, this dragonfly was my great-grandmother's, and uh, her husband gave it to her, and then uh, she passed it on to her daughter, my uh, grandmother. She had it in her closet, and my father, when he was eight years old, went to her closet and uh, saw the dragonfly and said, this will be one day for my daughter. And so he never gave it to his wife. <laughs> I'm glad he wasn't my husband. <laughs> so he uh, it went straightly to me, and um, so I've had it ever since. Wonderful. And the earrings? And the earrings were also passed on to me. Did you, your mother got to wear well, them? Well, my mom doesn't have earring holes, so... Pierced and I ears? do pierced earrings, so <laughs> I, got, I got them. This is my grandmother and my grandfather, and they're actually going to a wedding, and my grandmother is wearing these earrings. This is taken in Spain, and you can see the cars are right. from the era. From the period. Like, this is, of course, as you know, a dragonfly brooch. Yes. And it's en tremblant, which means that it quivers. The wings move, and as the lady wore it, the wings would move. Yes. This is platinum over gold. It's in between Edwardian and Art Nouveau. This is a, a transitional piece, 1900. And it's, as you can see, a large, important piece. This was not a, uh, a shy piece, if you will. No. When you turn it over, you see that pin back. Mm -hmm. That pin back unscrews. Right. And the whole pin back comes off, and it's replaced by this back, which enables the wearer to adapt it to her hair. Yes. And you mentioned that your grandmother wore it in her hair. Both my great-grandmother and my grandmother wore, wore it in, in the hair more than is a pet. It's, it's, it's a brooch. quite wonderful, and you can see it up here, the size of it. Now, do you have any idea of what these things are worth? No. No. Well, no. how about the brooch? This wonderful dragonfly is worth between twenty and twenty-five thousand dollars. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and the earrings, which are quite lovely, are worth about seven. $7,000. Wow. <laughs> so you've come in with some wonderful, wonderful pieces, and they are not replaceable. These are no. not pieces that were made in duplicate or triplicate. These were one-of-a-kind okay. pieces. Nice. We think it's Spain as the country of origin, because if it was French, there would have been hallmarks on it, and there are no hallmarks on it. So we're going to go with Spain, because that's where your family that's came from. Exactly. And that's indeed where they did have jewelers that Wonderful. could make this kind of jewelry.